to be the next vice president and president of the United States of America. I think America's ready for our first female president. I will vote for the policies. I don't care where you are, where you come from. It's going to take adjustment. She was the vice president and nothing really was wrong with that. So why not give her a chance or give a woman a chance in general? Women are in the forefront of a lot of things, uh, businesses, corporations and all. Maybe those who are still chauvinistic are not ready, but America is ready. I feel like it's about time for something new. Women should be able to do anything that men can do. So if a female is going to be president, let it happen. I think we're more than ready. I honestly believe we need a female. It's time for a female to come in. I really just feel like they'll do a lot more for the country. They're more honest than in forthright. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect either one. Black I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. I've never questioned her ethnicity. She could be white, but she, or she could be Asian. She could be whatever. She has the credentials and, and the policies that she's standing for is what's important. It shouldn't be a problem. I mean, you see my skin, I'm mixed. My mom's white, my dad's black, so I have no problem with it. So why should anybody else? It's whatever anyone identifies as. I mean, to me, it doesn't even really matter. People's ethnicity shouldn't be a factor. I think it's about their policies. Race and gender shouldn't matter. He's making a situation of being a race in general. That's just who he is. You know, but her being a black woman, Asian woman, Caucasian woman, I don't care what kind of woman you are, she has every right to do what he's doing. Just being a woman. <laughs> I mean, really, that is the key. And, and then going up against Trump, I mean, that's a whole new ballgame. His opinion of women, I think, in general, speaks for itself. Because America is a melting pot. We have a lot of different races and cultures. So it's good for the representation, for the people, like dealing with Congress and stuff like that. It might be a challenge for her because like everybody is white, mostly male, um, so they all think the same. I mean, for me personally, I work in STEM, so I, I see some of the struggles that you face every day with interacting with a male-dominant field. I'm sure hers is on a larger scale being in the public. I'm sure she'll face a lot of scrutiny and hate just for being a female being in power and I think some men might be a little bit intimidated by that. She is a woman first, uh, then she is Indian and African American woman. Also our country is in such a turmoil that I think people want someone that's going to bring us together and not divide us. Um, a healthy viable, presidential, knowledgeable candidate is what America is looking for.